Welcome to another Bleistift video and today I want to show you the Städler Concrete. It was first shown at the Inside X in 2017 and yeah, made in China and after it was uh, presented I was quite tempted to buy it. Um, originally they said there's gonna be um, a mechanical pencils, pencil and a ballpoint pen. And I then looked around, I only found two shops that were offering the mechanical pencil, placed an order, but um, after a few weeks that order got cancelled. And it turned out none of those two shops that offered the mechanical pencil ever got one. It was I think originally planned by Stadler to sell one and uh, then they changed their mind. So they only released the, the ballpoint pen. So I thought I'd bring my nice um, concrete um, pen holder. I've got an even nicer one in the office with some plants here uh, with a different look. Uh, and it looks quite nice. And the whole thing is fairly light. You know, it's not a solid chunk of concrete instead. Uh, let me show you. It's done in cooperation with the Technical University in Nuremberg. I call it Technical University. I'm not sure what the official um, English name is. It's basically a polytechnic. But in, in Germany, I think my personal opinion is that polytechnics always felt like the little ugly brother of universities and they don't want to be called polytechnics anymore. So they, they call themselves uh, Technische Hochschule now. And basically Städler developed this pen together with them. And it's this is basically... Um, concrete and glue together you know, put on some on some uh, pen body you got also here the typical look of the premium series i should have brought my mechanical pencil that has the same uh, similar look um, it's quite nice it's uh, just a shame that in the end the mechanical pencil never got released. I bought this one from Carl Pens and they actually talk about the kind of refill they are using. And I think that I might be able to get away by getting the correct um, Schmidt insert. Let me just show you. Yeah, I reviewed the Monami 153 in the past. Oh, recently I had a look at the Tom Dixon um, pencil, which has uh, a Schmidt insert. Oh, yeah. So, don't know why that started. Okay, so. I uh, scrolled too far. Here we are. Yeah. So the different inserts, depending on what you want to do. Uh, there's some with a push button mechanism. There's some for twisting. I don't know whether the size is correct, but basically, I think there should be an insert that should fit this pencil. The only problem is, even though in America it seems to be quite easy to get them, I haven't seen a place in Europe that sells those Schmidt inserts to end users. So if I get the right insert, I might be able to get my mechanical pencil after all that I was after for a long time and that unfortunately never happened. Here at the moment it is a, stand, a, a standard uh, Stadler refill. And, you know, for the fact that this is a concrete pen, obviously inside here, it's it's plastic. 
for the fact that this is a concrete pen, it's fairly light. Yeah. Let's get the scales out. Probably difficult to see. Thirty three grams. Yeah, so that's certainly much lighter than the Tom Dixon brass pencil. And it's similar in weight to the Caveco brass pen. But somehow, you know, because I, I, I think, you know, the, the, the human brain is easily misled. And I mean, this pen feels heavier than this. I think on the one hand, because the diameter is smaller, on the other hand, because you see concrete, you expect it to be very heavy. And then just compared to your expectation, uh, it's very light. So light, in fact, that it feels slightly cheap. Uh, because it's quite light, then you think, oh, is it all just plastic? Uh, here, nice touch. The Städtler logo is also done in concrete. So I like the idea. Could be a bit heavier to feel it, to make it feel a bit more solid. On the other hand, this is probably uh, just a good weight for writing without getting tired. Um, yeah, here's some of the gaps here. They're not necessarily evenly spaced. Um, but overall, a nice pencil, not too expensive. Um, when I when I bought it, all the Stadler products were twenty percent off, so it it wasn't expensive. I just wish there was a mechanical pencil. But yeah, I thought I'd tell you about it, about this collaboration that Stadler did with that Polytechnic. Um, I find it quite interesting. And uh, I like to emphasize it all the time because I think not enough people know, but um, Städtler actually puts all the money they earn into 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 advancing things, you know. So the, the, they're not a, a profit company in the traditional sense, um, but, but all the money they make um, goes into... Uh, scholarships you know, to to advance research, you know, not only into pens but you know, for, for the general good of things. So, yeah. So it's uh, one of the reasons why I'm such a Stadler fanboy. But have a look, nice pen. If you've ever seen a place where you can get those. Um, Schmidt converters in Europe, or if you can tell me how I can, can get my hands on one, please let me know. Thank you for watching as always, and goodbye and until next time.